my equestrian friends, it's me Lisa, the Budget Equestrian, and today I have a fun video where we're going to take this saddle rack and we're going to make it even better by using something so simple and so affordable, pool noodles. This will help protect your saddle when it's on your saddle rack. So to get started, what you're going to need is a pool noodle. I found this pool noodle at Walmart. It was 94 cents and it also helps if you have a wall mounted saddle rack. So the first thing I did was clean off the saddle rack and get rid of the dust that might have accumulated since I hung it up. And then using a subway knife, I took my pool noodles and I chopped them down a little bit smaller and a little bit more manageable size so I can attach them to the saddle rack. And then I just cut them in half and fit the pool noodles onto my saddle rack. The reason I'm doing this is because when you leave your saddle on the saddle rack like this for any period of time or a longer period of time, it can put indentations in the bottom of your saddle. And we spend a lot of money on the saddles that we have, so I wanna make sure that when it is out in my barn, in my tack room, it's protected. And these pool noodles work perfect for adding a little bit of protection from the saddle rack to your saddle. The adhesive I used is called E6000. It is a craft adhesive and it works really good for all types of different materials. So I put the E6000 onto the saddle rack itself and then I put the pool noodle on top of that. And this was the first rack that I attempted to do this on. If I had been thinking, I would have made the pieces longer. But hindsight being what it is, I took littler pieces or smaller pieces of the pool noodle and put it on the ends of the saddle rack. And then these littler pieces were giving me a little bit of a problem sticking. So I used the clamps that I use for my hay nets and I just clamped on the pool noodle to keep it in position while the adhesive was drying. And these clamps come in so handy for so many different reasons. I use it for my hay nets, using it for you know this project right here but having some clamps out in your tack room or your barn is always a good idea And then my saddle will just sit right on top of the saddle rack with the pool noodles. And I really just wanted to show you that where the pool noodles are, where the foam is, it's actually protecting the bottom of my saddle from coming into contact with the metal bar. And this is a speeded up version of me doing the other saddle rack that I have. And I learned from doing the first one that I just wanted to keep the pool noodles a little bit longer before I put them on. And, and then I used the adhesive and then some clamps to keep the noodle in place while it was drying. And even though I did keep the pieces longer of the foam, it did make it as far as up to the curved part of the saddle rack. So, so I just used some little pieces to fill it in. And this is what the saddle rack looks like when it's all completed. You can see that the foam is going to protect the saddle from coming into contact with the metal rack.
And then I also had some extra pieces and I used the extra pieces to go over some hooks that I have for where I'm going to be keeping my bridles. And this is one of my saddles out in the barn right now on my <laughs> pool noodle saddle rack. And there's the second one waiting for my other saddle to come out and live in my tack room. Hopefully that'll be happening soon. And I think I'm gonna share with you guys my little tack room makeover that I just recently did. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can be a budget equestrian too. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.